Hot for your feet. Welcome to the show. Is robots for your feet? Brought to you by the Golden Age. Hey, guess what, guys? We're in a new set. Set and setting, huh, Bella? Bella. Bella's in the house. My name is Paula Shoegazer. I'm in the house. Gigindomog is certainly in the house. How could he not be? And I hope you're prepared because I'm fully prepared and cognizant for another groundbreaking episode of A Robots for Your Feet, y'all. Bro, there's so much going on. I've moved to a new place. But that doesn't matter because we have a new episode. Why do we have a new episode? Because we've purchased a new pair of shoes. The first pair of new shoes in a hot minute has been purchased from up and comer, new hot brand and website, Timu, T-E-M-U. Y'all know about Timu, they've been spamming y'all. But now, here we go. We ordered a pair of sneaks from Timu.com and I'm no way affiliated with them at all or any of these companies, OIs, etc. But you can certainly send me some sneakers for free to review. That's the whole point of this. Free sneakers, caramel bugles, bush, in that particular order. But before we commence this goodness, the fans want to know, Hey, Paul, much like uh, that dude on Complex, uh, De Palmer, whoever the hell, what's on your feet? Well, more custom sneakers. Check them out. Oh. It was featured in a previous episode where we talked about the fake Yeezy Error Rats. These are the custom version of those that I have customized for your shoe enjoying pleasure. And I'll rock these for the episode even though they're a tad snug for your boy. Woo, 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 woo. I'm so excited because we've ordered some sneakers and they've been drop shipped from God knows where. Shang Tzu, Wang Tzu, Yi Gong, Li Gang, Wu Tang Province, wherever the fuck. But guess what? They've arrived, and I'm not gonna lie, I've actually been sitting on these for a minute. I did a move from one apartment to another, as you can tell from the new locale. These shoes got delivered, but they took a back burner while we investigated our move, and now that we're all squared away and settled in, we're gonna do a little unboxing, uh, unbagging of these cleverly packaged, drop-shipped sneakers from Timu. And y'all are going to be very excited to see what they are because it goes right along with the epoch of Robots for Your Feet. It's very thematic for Robots for Your Feet and appropriate, as always, for the aesthetic of Robots for Your Feet. Whereupon, sneakers, obnoxious, weird soles, no laces if we can help it. This pretty much ticks off all the boxes of what we're looking for in a unique pair of sneaks that fits uh, the theme here on Robots for Your Feet and that's probably super high top and a little avant-garde. I'm not going to give away too much because I know what they are but y'all don't yet. So stay tuned. Episode Tray Bomb of Robots for Your Feet is something you've been hotly anticipating based on how many people have slid into my DMs going, hey Paul the Shoegazer where is the next sewed of Robots for Your Feet so that I can hearken to and gaze upon some of the coolest, raddest, off the beaten path sneakers that are available for the buying public via Chinese conglomerate websites. Let's find out y'all.
Look, I'll settle for some hams if Bush doesn't want to come off their fucking wallet. Hams from the clear blue water. Clear blue water! Whatever the shit was. We'll take hams, okay? That's fine. I'm cool with hams. It's $5 for a six pack of pounders. It's gonna work for me. Um, I'm not so sure about this music. Since we're looking at Chinese shoes here, I'm afraid that this background music, while entirely coincidental, might be a tad racist. This is luck of the draw, people. I grabbed the first lounge record I could find, and just because it has Asian overtones, doesn't make me a racist. I mean, like, when you get the Chinese restaurant menu and it's got that sharp, funky Asian font, is that a racist font? Can a font be racist? <coughs> Sorry about that, but I guess we're maybe slipping off the point here. What's the point? New sneaker! Look, I'm not afraid of, well, not just racist music, but pimping brands that I would like to represent. I don't even know what this shit is, but it's called Fried. F-R-Y-D, and I'll get fried so I can do a better job at reviewing these sneakers. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, we'll check these shoes. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, we will. Bong. And let's play this out like it's a dream sequence where in our dreams, the shoes finally arrived. And now we're ready to unpackage and behold them with all of our available enthusiasm. Cue blurry, weird video effect I'll add later in post. Yes, folks, this issue packaging in 2023. See, that's got my old address on there here in Erie, Pennsylvania, so don't stop me because I've already moved. Moved on up, much like the Jeffersons, to a deluxe apartment in the sky. As always, this episode of Robots for Your Feet is sponsored by The Golden Age. The Golden Age, soon to be available in most House of Sundries and Mercantile Associations global wide. The Golden Age dot us. Here's an idea. Why don't we collaborate with Ham's Beer and I'll come up with my own custom spiced ham a la Spam and call it Beer's Ham. And it'll be the ham that goes along with the beer. Ham's Beer and Beer's Ham in 2023. Because palindromes are cool. Much like a couple of virgins on their wedding night, let's hesitate no further in tearing into this shit. We have a second layer, guys. It's like the dermis and the epidermis and slowly but surely we are unearthing these sneakers straight out of China crazy motherfucking name nice shoes I ordered these in a size 12 so these mofos better fit my feet a little bit more than these uh custom Yeezy runner Error rats are these Ara 
tad bit small for me. In case you were wondering what type of high tech equipment is used to create the high quality production known as robots for your feet, let me run to the mirror real quick and show you a secret. And you can just break the fourth wall and see the high technology that's utilized to create this incredible broadcast. <gasps> Holy fuck! I have gone pro officially. Always wanted to be pro. Never had my name on a skateboard, but damn it if I'm not going pro at every episode of this show. <laughs> Side two, taboo. So what you want to do? We got us a plastic bag with a zip tie. What are those? What the fuck are those? If you were walking down the street and I had these on my feet, you'd be like, what the fuck are those? What the fuck are those? Okay, these have got to be the most obtuse soles of any sneakers that we've ever featured on Robots for Your Feet. You don't really know all the details until you get them in the mail, which makes it the fun part. So, looks like we got some kind of text written on the cuff here. It says, Comanier. Comanier. C O M A N I E R. Comania. See up oh, more Chinese music. Music, stop being Chinese. I'm trying really hard to not be racist in these episodes. So this says Cormania. Can you read it? Cormania. These are the Cormania clogs, maybe? What do we call them? The Comanier blades, they're blade style sneakers. Look at these soles. Look at these insoles. Look how classy Freddie Blassie that is. Shoe size, US 11. I think I want a 12, but I'll settle for an 11 as long as they fit. Comanier. Straight out of China. Comanier. I don't know if you knew, but Comania is Szechuan for what the fuck are those? So before you blow up my inbox, Szechuan's not a language, it's a dipping sauce. I know. There's like Mandarin and something else, Taipeian. All Asian people, please unsubscribe from me right now due to my ignorance. Why are the soles so partitioned? And why are they half orange and half black? It's the robots, robots for your feet. It's the robots, robots for your feet. I mean, this is episode three of Robots for Your Feet. What did you expect was gonna happen? You knew there'd be lounge music. You knew there'd be random birds calling in the background. You knew there'd be funky sneakers from indeterminate Chinese brands that smell like polypropylene and brand names like 
Cormanier. These are the Zanier Cormaniers. The Cormanier ones, they've been dubbed. And episode three is kind of finished because, like, what else can we possibly say about the sneakers? I think we've, uh, we've done our reps here. Why do they have little, look at these little spikes on the back. They have little dual spikes. The souls themselves seem to be kind of satanic. They're almost like demonic souls. They got Halloween colors. They're almost like if the devil wore Timberlands, what would they look like? The devil's Tims right here. Good golly. Maybe they're comfortable. For the final part of our presentation today for Robots for Your Feet, we'll, uh, we'll strap these bad boys on and see how they feel trucking about my uh, abode here. What are those? Do you not care? Do you not care for the sneakers? They smell like the Huangdong province, Bella. Do you smell Huangdong province? Yeah, your tail's wagging. That means it must be the Huangdong province, huh, Bubba? When you're in love with a beautiful pair of shoes, Everything else disappears in the world When you're in love with a pair of tea moves You know you're Paul the Shoegazer when you fall in love with some Chinese sneakers from Timu.com Hey, they fit. God damn it if these ain't robots for your feet. Do I look like the ad in, on YouTube? Blade style. Blade style, bruh. Spell it with me, people. C O M A N I E R. C O M A N I E R. Comania, Comania. Those shoes make you feel so much zanier. Maybe it's pronounced Comanye. Maybe it's pronounced Comanye. Look at those nooks and crannies. It's like a goddamn Thomas's English muffin. All right, I'm gonna have to. Uh, boogie on out of here but I just want everybody to know that robots for your feet will not be denied it's gonna be an ongoing franchise just live with it just let it happen robots for your feet season 2 is in full effect say goodbye Cormanier see you later Cormanier all right I'll probably remember five more clever things that I could have said afterwards, but fuck it. My name's Paul the Shoegazer. I'm Outski but Outski. Peace in the Middle East. And thanks again for being on our wavelength here at Robots for Your Feet. Shoegazer! Shoegazer! Ow!